Hey everybody, it's Paul from Last Level Tech again, and uh, over the past couple of days I've been running a little project at home, uh, which was to clear out my old Xboxes, uh, open them up, clean them up, make sure they're working okay, you know, check the uh, the heat sinks, the fans, the thermal paste, everything like that, just to make sure that they uh, try and extend the life of them as much as possible. And uh, one thing I noticed was that I've got a Generation 1, um, ver version 1.0 um, original Xbox, and uh, the last generation, which was uh, version 1.6 of the original Xbox. I thought I'd just do a little video to show the comparisons before I put them all back together. Um, so the Xbox here, this is version 1. Uh, this was launched in uh, April... Uh, sorry, the console launched in March of 2002 in Europe. And this particular one is April 2002. And uh, you'll notice in particular the board is quite busy. There's a lot of uh, chips and lanes and transistors, resistors, everything else all on that board. Uh, in comparison to the last generation which I can just give you a little bit of a head side to side here, uh, which was the 1.6, and this was manufactured in November of 2004. Uh, so just a year before the Xbox 360 came out. And uh, you can see it's a lot cleaner board, a lot less chips and, and particularly capacitors. I mean, the, the litter of capacitors on the other one compared to this one, uh, but they really kind of tied it down to a, to a much sleeker board. There was rumours at one point that they might make a, an Xbox uh, a, a Slim, an original Xbox Slim, but you know, given that they moved to the 360 so quickly, there's probably no point. Um, you can see a little bit of rust on the board itself, or not on the board, on the chassis, but um, apart from that, it's pretty clean. I've actually stripped everything down and um, taken all the electro electronics out, taken all the plastics apart, and put all the plastics and the actual chassis through the dishwasher. Um, to give it a clean and just get rid of all the muck and dirt and everything else that's in there. And then uh, change some of the fans and everything. On this one I've done a bit more modding than the uh, than the 1.6 and I'll, I'll just show you that in a second. Uh, but some of the key differences in this we can see, first of all, there's the, uh, the processor and the GPU. So it's a Pentium 3 processor. Uh, we're running at 733 megahertz. And there's the original NVIDIA X GPU. So the one that launched. And the difference between the other one is not there's not a lot in the processor. It's very very similar, in fact, which which you would expect. There's a slightly different batch code number, um, but the Nvidia XGPU B is on there, um, which yeah, I, I guess I wonder how how much extra that gives or in performance. It looks. I mean, the chip size itself is pretty similar to the original, so I'm not sure what the difference is in the design there. Uh, one of the major differences, I suppose, is re regarding to there, which on this one. You can see the video encoder is a Connexent. There was three different types of uh, video encoders for the Xboxes. The launch one had the Connexent. I think the version 1, 1.1, 1.2 all used Connexents. Need to clean that board up a little bit there. And um, I think it was 1.5 and 1.6, or maybe just 1.6, but they moved to this one, which is the Excalibur. So that's the Excalibur chip uh, de video decoder, which is on the, the 1.6. And uh, the other difference is you'll see there's a there's a daughter board on this one attached here, which is uh, plugging into the the joystick ports. Um, you can see it sits into the board there in the bottom, uh, but there's no need for that on the 1.6. They actually plug directly into the main board itself. And look at look at how much clearer it is. You know, there's just there's just nothing around there in comparison to the original one. There's so much redundant pieces of electronics that they uh, they they obviously streamlined. Um, with development of the product. Same, same goes with the power supply. Again, it's quite neatly packed. Lots of electronics and everything else in there. You can see large capacitors again. And uh, we strip up to the other one. Again, it's fewer capacitors, maybe one large one there. But again, it's a lot less busy, a lot more compact. And in, in, I guess, in essence, it will reduce the, uh, the amount of heat generated by the device as well. The uh, heat sinks that used to go on this, uh, they're both the same in regards to the CPU, but the GPU um, had a different, it was an active heat sink on the version 1.0, and that was a pain because it was really loud. No matter if you change the actual system fan, the little tiny little 40 millimeter heat sink that was on the GPU with the little active fan that had on it was a pain, absolute pain in the ass. But it didn't take them long, it was only in version 1.1 that they realized that if they just stuck a bigger heat sink, slightly bigger heat sink, they didn't need a fan. Um, so yeah, and that that survives all the way through the other generations from 1.1 to 1.6. So there was no active fan, and the only thing that was making any noise essentially then was the DVD drive, the hard drive, and the main fan. You can see on this one, I haven't changed the fan on this one. It, it, you know, it slots in quite nicely into the actual chassis of the of the console. 
and there's a tiny little cable then that goes down to there for active monitoring. Uh, but what I've done on this one is I've modded it and changed it for one of these fans. It's a Xylence fan, 80 uh, millimeter fan. Uh, I've had to do some cutting around the edges and for it to fit correctly okay. But instead of just using the active uh, 5 volt connector, I'm just plugging it into a Molex connector. Um, I'm going to split the Molex connector there for the hard drive and then I'll plug the other end into the uh, the fan itself. And it is silent. It's, it, I mean, it, when it, it runs basically that, 100% uh, to 12 volts, and it's there's a whisper out of it compared to anything else. And it's, uh, it's a massive improvement. It lowers the temperature significantly. Keeps the temperatures for both GPU and CPU down into the 40s, even under gameplay. I think I left Halo... Uh, running for about Halo 2, running for about eight nine hours, and um, I think the fan. Oh, sorry, the the GPU went up to maybe forty six. Sorry, the GPU went up to about forty four, and the heat sink. Uh, sorry, the CPU went up to about forty nine, maybe touching fifty, but uh, yeah, it made a big difference. And it's like I say, it's quiet um, when you're running. You know, one of the best things about these consoles is soft modding them, sticking things like coin ops on there or visionary for. Uh, emulation kind of purposes and um, you know if you've got um, uh, the machine itself running quite quiet it's even better one of the best things again is you've got four ports for joysticks or uh, controllers on the front so you know if you've got friends around for some old school multiplayer games and stuff like that it works a treat uh, had to do a little bit of modding to the chassis uh, for the hard drive which you can see here just to cut a little section out uh, not really a problem but uh, just use your dremel or whatever um, just so it's it fits in and it's snugly against the uh, the new fan when it's actually in place. Um, you can see it just goes in nicely like that, but it works a treat. Uh, so I mean, it's an underrated console for uh, especially considering what you can do when you do um, take it apart and you know soft mod it or hard mod it uh, using a, an Excalibur chip or, or executor chip or whatever else. Um, you can do a hell of a lot with these. You know the original XBMC of course originated from this little box. And uh, yeah, but I thought it'd be interesting just to show off again the version 1.0 motherboard and system, power supply and everything else, the original Xbox, and the 1.6 final version motherboard and power supply of the original Xbox. So once again, yeah, thanks for watching everybody and uh, hope you found this video a bit of fun. And if you did, please rate and subscribe. Bye now.